You know, nobody ever asked me. Yeah, I would have like a quiet place to do it at besides my room. But this is the closest thing that you get to see me talk about my artwork. While well, right, just making like all kinds of ruckus in the front room. Almost all the time. And I'm the only one that's playing music. You can hear while I'm talking about my artwork. Because it's always in here. All the friggin' time. By the way, I'm playing the Black Jewel Race 2 music from Wire World that's like in Japan. The Black Jewel is the one that Wario has stolen, doesn't even know it had those kind of powers. If you play the USA one, all it does is shoot lasers from its eyes. Who's blocking Wario's path? Have to trap him and try and shoot fire from its side. But if you play the Japanese one, and it has like different types of attacks. You can do a head slam attack and most likely not only fly around but charge at you. Which makes the Black Jewel more of a threat. Now we got like four tentacles. And just have one eye. The USA one, the final boss is way too easy. At least in that Japanese one, it's more of a threat than you can ever imagine finding that. Which is incredible that the Japanese one is slightly way better than the USA Evision that we got today. And these all kinds of attacks like boulders and all those sorts of things. So I use the background, like, from the game. Brightly yellow. Firstly, brownish mountains. And the platform that is only a place for Wario to take down the final boss of the game. And because of more of a frightening foe to take down. If you own the Japanese Wario World, it makes a boss fight a worthy adversary you to take down. Which makes the game actually worth playing. I mean, spoiler alert, those of you haven't got to the final boss, this is what you have to do is always avoid all the attacks and you'll successfully win the boss fight quickly as possible. Which makes it a little bit and almost half easy and most likely be harder to deal with the final boss of the game. Which is its only appearance in Mario World, aka the Wario series games, of being incredibly threateningly awesome all at once. Ink tentacles and being all purple color. Bright purple eye there. There's not much else to say about this black jewel, wherever Wario stole it from. That's left unknown. That we only get to see the true main antagonist villain from the opening that we saw in the gameplay, Rex. Wario's kingdom and take everything and he holds dear. You gotta get like all the boss keys used to in every each world. Collect all of them, you can face at least the black jewel. As long as you collect all the sprite links, you'll get like the best ending and take down the black jewel once and for all. And restore his kingdom in the rightful place. 
And that's pretty much all I can say about the Black Jewel being the most threatening bo final boss of all time. Also, I use like Timber Wolf Gray color for the platform as well. Also, I use Yellow Dandelion color for the background as well. It took me a long time to color the rest of this, but it was worth it. It did take that long to color the whole thing, so I decided to do half of it. There's really not much else to say about this one for like six whole minutes, because that's all, all I can explain about this amazing design of the final boss in Wario World. Once you defeat all the bosses, you get not only get all the punches and all the coins, but you have to unlock everything just to get the best ending of them all. Restoring Wario's Kingdom just the way it is. Is 100% it correctly. Thank you all for listening to my short amount of video. See you all next time. Goodbye for now.